It's unlocked. Hope I don't get into trouble over this. Come on, don't. Don't go full crazy on me. Alright, dark room. We got that. We got that flashlight. It's all good. Oh, it's a dark room. Oh, I know this! It's 107! 107. There we go. It was the number from the statue. Not a police code for anything, Mr. I don't follow no rules. Yeah! Hey, these are the liquids for developing pictures. I'll take them with me. Awesome. I have to develop some pictures, I think. Um, containers, canister, duct tape. We're gonna need that. I'll take this tape with me. I can use it to tape Ted to a flag. Wow, bitch! Don't tape my buddy to the flagpole. Science bottles. Film enlarger. So we gotta find film. Nothing happened. There's something missing. Probably the film. That would probably help. Latent image. Put this here. Do this. Nothing happened. We take the thing. No, we take the. Oh, wait, do we dunk it? And Nothing happened. Pour this on it. I can't use that. Um. Pour this into one of these. There. We just need the empty photo thingy to put it in. We can get it from that machine over there. You know how to use that thing? Not yet, but I was voted most. Yes, we will figure it out. Do not worry. We will figure out this puzzle and I will learn how to do a thing. Nothing happened. Big ass bottles. Big ass bottles. <laughs> Step right up, folks. Witness the amazing <laughs> bottle twins. <laughs> Um, what am I missing? Going through trash is not on my to-do list. Maybe if my schedule opens up later in the day. What am I missing? Roll of film? An undeveloped roll of film. Not much else to say. Uh, char, pipe, film enlarger. You put a film inside, and then it projects onto some piece of paper that you bathe, and you get photos. Oh, we're missing the film. <laughs> God, I'm retarded. <laughs> uh, hairbrush, nothing there. Bed. My parents' bed. It's so big and comfy. My bed is like sleeping on a pile of rocks. Well, not really. It's really soft and fluffy, but this one's better. I was going to say, did they not treat you well? Take the camera. Can we give Teddy another tie? Please, there's another tie right here. I want to give him a second one. Or maybe just a different one. I'll take this film strip with me. Maybe I can develop it later. Yes, take this. It's plastic wrap for your clothes. For some reason. Uh, armoire. An armoire. That's fancy talk for closet. Yes, but it's not one that's built into a place. It's my parents' closet, also known as a cliched hiding spot when playing hide and seek. Indeed. Um. This thing is so dusty. It's like a. It looks like the thing, um, to, uh, whatever. <sighs> Creepy dude. A painting of some guy. Let's name him. Jeffrey. What do you think, Ted? I don't, but he does look like a Jeffrey. Jeffrey creepy face. His eyes would follow us around the room if he had it. <gasps> Gasp. Get back in that dark room. We're making progress here. We're making progress. All right, we gotta take this film, shove it in here. And then we can start developing.
Yay, shove that sh There, is it over? Is that it? Looks the same to me. Some detective you are. Obviously something happened. We need to use the developing liquids now, and then we get the photo. Yes, that is indeed correct. I can see this much. Put it in the things. Oh, Jesus! Oh my god, Ted. That's him. That's the red man. He's in my house. Okay, calm down. That could be anyone. Oh, no, it's him. He's in my house, and he did something to Flint. I have to find Mom and Dad. Wait, don't be so rash. There's probably an explanation for this. Don't get your parents involved, doll. They're having a hard time as it is. Oh, this could be just a prank, is all I'm saying. We should get back to Millie. Yeah, you're all right. right. Back to Millie. Millie. We have to wait, though. The room is locked by a mechanism connected to that machine over there, and it will unlock in a couple of minutes. My dad made it like this so no one would barge in and light up the room when he's developing photos. All right, so we wait. I don't like the sound so, of this. So, have you been lately? I don't like the sound of this. I feel like someone's about to... Study. Oh no, Millie. Do I have to hurt Millie? Oh no, I have to hurt Millie, don't I? Leave. We're not hurting Millie. We're not hurting Millie. There's no reason to hurt Millie. Millie is friend. Millie is sweet. And kind old giraffe woman. There's no, why would we hurt Millie? There's no reason to hurt. Kind lady. Do not need to stab. Really? Or at least I hope I didn't. I mean, I just kind of left. Millie, are you okay? We heard a scream. Oh, thank goodness you're here. It was him, the red man. You just missed him. We found a photo. He's in my house, Millie. You just missed him. He must have heard you two coming, because he jumped out the window seconds before you came in. I can't imagine what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. <gasps> it's okay. He dropped a thing. Now, you're safe. We should get moving. Is there any entrance to the city we can use at the moment? There's one in the attic. Maybe we can use that one. Yeah, good idea. Let's head out. What about Millie? Are we going to leave her alone? What if the red man shows up? She'll be fine. Millie's a tough broad. She'll probably whack the hell out of him until he's had enough and surrenders to local authorities. Millie, are you gonna be fine on your own? Don't worry about me, little miss. I'll go and find some place to hide. You two better be careful out there. Nail. I'll just take the nail with me. The uses for it are practically endless. Practically? Take this one. I'll take it with me. With some proper crafting. <gasps> I can't use Do what with it? This won't work. This won't work. It usually takes Come on. Do what? I can't use I can't use Come on. Are you This won't work. I need more wood. Um, where is there wood? Where is there wood? Wait. Do what with it? This won't work. Actually, it takes two or more. So we need to find another piece of wood. And. Nothing. 
thing in here. Maybe, can I go into Flint's room now? Now that I've been in there once? Wait, it's locked. Okay, so we can't use that. Huh. <sighs> Where are we looking to go? We gotta go into the study? I don't think so. Do what with it? Go into Flint's room. Maybe you can find something. Find me wood! It looks highly cuttable. I don't like pillows. I'm far too rugged for such comfort. <laughs> we'll have to find it. Well, this thing really stands out. Um. No. 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 I have a fucking Swiss army knife. Why am I trying to use the goddamn sword? Why am I trying to use the fucking sword? <laughs> I'll take it with me. Maybe Millie can tell me something more about it. I have a goddamn Swiss army knife! I was trying to use the sword. The, ugh. God damn. <laughs> hey. Hey. Tell me about this. Come on. Um. Are you... Are you... I can't... Do what with... I can't... Do what... This won't work. Please, whoever finds this log, I'm one of the developers, will bear with me. I... I didn't want to do it. They've made me. Please send some... Oh no. I can hear him coming. Someone's kind of a... I just stumbled onto a snuff film, I think. Wow, that's just disturbing. Yep. <laughs> Alright, um... Well, that happened. That was a thing that happened. Um... Use sword on tree. I don't think so. Use knife on tree. Do what with... There's not another... I can't find another log thing. Unless... Shoes? Where else to put them but underneath the bed where you sleep? Men, am I right? I, I am man. I know have no idea. A chandelier. It's French for fancy lamp. Nice. Is there anything in the dark room that I missed? Where do I find another plank? Um. No, there's nothing here. I love wearing these around the house. They make me look taller. They're really uncomfortable, though. Yeah, I've heard. Um... <laughs> oh, Millie might know. Millie might know what to I think Millie might know what to do with this. I think 
Maybe? Millie, do you know what this is? Millie, we found this piece of red cloth in Flint's room. We thought you could tell us something more about it. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't recognize this particular fabric. But by the feel of it, it feels like a firefighter's uniform. I'm sorry, but that's as much as I can tell. A firefighter's uniform? This is getting stranger by the minute. What do you make of this doll? I honestly don't know, Ted. I'm a bit shaken up at the moment. I have to go find Mom and Dad. Whoever this red man is, he's done something to Flint. Please don't get your parents involved again. I suggest we head out to Paper City and see what we can dig up on this guy. We can go down to the docks and talk to CBG. He's bound to know something. Hmm. This... Okay, so this one is kind of silly. Yeah. That actually worked? You just unlocked something with an old rusty nail? How convenient is that? That's just lazy writing. Yeah. Don't be such a negative Nancy, Snoop. Of course it worked. My genius knows no bounds. Yeah, that's, it's butts. That's really butts. Yay, I got the hook thingy. I bet this will be super easy. Yeah, that's kind of butts, lady. This won't work. This won't hold on its own. I know, I know. Get there. Tape. Now I can have higher aspirations. And now we out the attic. That was silly. That took way longer. I had to look that up. That was kind of <laughs> Akio Ladder. Millie, Rust, and the mug shots all escaped through the East Tunnel. It's closed off now. We've heard from several sources now that the police commissioner had ordered a lockdown. I was starting to wonder, was it to keep everyone at bay till they catch the person responsible? Or was it to maybe keep someone out? It's too big of a coincidence that all of this started to happen at the same time I left the city. And now, I find myself unable to return. I've come across the Mugshot Brothers, but as expected, they were uncooperative. Bastards. Wise guys. Reasoning with them is a fruitless act. Also, one's kind However, of retarded. the little information I got from them could be useful later. They seem nervous. I mean, more than usual. Very nervous. Rabbits are always nervous, though. We found some clues around the house that could help us find Flint. But so far, everything is leading nowhere. I've examined the evidence myself, but can't connect the dots yet. It seems appropriate that the last case in my career would be like this. I like that there's Everyone a chain of story. custody thing on that. That's neat. The detective only has a couple of days till retirement. But then, lady in distress shows up and begs him to help her out. He decides, against all reason, to do this one last thing. But the case proves to be his hardest yet. Somewhere down the line, the detective gets shot and fade to black. Did you just tell us the end of this? We had a run-in with the main suspect, the man in the red hood. He gave Millie quite a scare. Who knows what would have happened if we had gotten there just a little late. It was getting more obvious now. He's the one responsible for Flint's disappearance. We had to table all of our options, and we decided to go back to Paper City. I have an informant there that could know some things, and that's our best bet at the moment. Red, it seems, wants to get to Amber, so I figured I'd draw him out. Damn, that's pretty evil. Best place to do that is the city. I need to level the field, coordinate with the police, and to set a trap. Never mind. After we get him cornered, I'll make him talk. And we'll find out what happened to Flint. Maybe he is Flint. Let's just hope it's not too late. Dude, what if he is Flint? And the brother's like evil and stuff. Comic Con? <gasps> it's a puppers! Officer Brian! Good evening, officer. Oh my god, Miss Ashworth. Is that really you? I must say, I've only seen you in the papers, but you look even better in person. Stop, you're going to make me blush. <laughs> Oops, too late. Uh, no, but seriously, officer. Burke, Miss Ashworth, but you can call me Brian. Okay, Brian, 
We need to enter the city. You see, we're working on this case, and we need to find a friend of ours. He might know some things. I'm terribly sorry, Miss Ashworth. I I'm afraid no one is allowed to enter the city at this point. Not even a beloved and well-known celebrity <laughs> such as yourself. I'm so, so sorry. Damn. Well, so, so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. So sorry. I like Aren't you a bit young to be a policeman? A police officer, actually. I'm fresh out of the academy, but I'm planning to make detective in a couple of years. Well, that's ambitious. Is that a fake mustache? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> it's a fake mustache. It's beautiful. It is. It just fell on the floor. Well. This is embarrassing. I'm sorry. Everyone at the station has a mustache these days, and I just can't seem to grow one myself. My fiance even makes fun of me sometimes. Aww. Well, I think you look just dashing without a mustache. It makes you look younger. Well, thank you kindly, miss. That's a tough deal, kid. You'll have a hard time becoming a detective if you don't have a mustache. You don't have a mustache! You, you don't have one, Mr. Bear. I'm a private snoop, Jimmy. I don't need to fit in. I walk my beat alone. Oh my god! <laughs> Stevie, you know anything about the Red Man? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I really can't discuss such matters. Uh, I will tell you one thing, though. The word on the street is that the suspect, codename Red, is asking a lot of questions about Miss Ashworth. What kind of questions? What's so interesting about Amber, anyways? Hey! <laughs> Don't worry, Miss Ashworth. You're the most interesting person I know. If I was a crazy lunatic with an agenda, I'd stalk you, too. Aw, that's <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Wait, why'd he call him no, Steven? Now I'm blushing. I just have to interrupt whatever this is. Jerry, what kind of information is he just is calling him the wrong right, name? Sir, and I'm afraid I don't really know much about the subject. <laughs> Only what I hear from the fellow police officers here and there. Besides, I'm not in a position to discuss such matters. Yeah, yeah, I know. He just keeps calling him the wrong name. You haven't seen Flint Ashworth by any chance. Miss Ashworth's brother? That's right. Have you seen him? I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I'm confused. That's understandable, son. You're a paper city police officer. <laughs> Can't you make an exception to let us pass? Just this once. Mr. Bear, as much as I admire both you and Miss Amber, seriously, I'm a huge fan, but orders are still orders. Things are getting really bad down in the city. If anything were to happen to Miss Amber, I could never forgive myself. Dave, who ordered this lockdown? The state officials. Mayor Mills himself signed the decree. I'm afraid without the mayor's signature, no one is allowed to enter or leave the city at the moment. Uh, and it's Brian, sir. And how come the city is on lockdown anyways? I'm afraid I'm not in a position to discuss such matters, Mr. Bear. Terribly sorry. Shit, how do we get into the city then? So, what is it we need to do in order to enter the city? Well, I suppose you would have to get clearance, signed by Mayor Mills himself. And he'll just sign this clearance, no questions asked. And normally, no. I don't think so. But since you're in the company of the beautiful and talented Miss Amber, I'm sure the mayor will make an exception. Time to bug the mayor, wherever the hell he is. I'll have to get the mayor on the phone to sort this thing out. You think he'll let us enter the city? I really don't know. But that drunk owes me a couple of favors. It's time to call him up on it. To the Bat Cave. What? Are we going back to your den? Mayor's office. Hello there, doll. This is Teddy Bear. You may know me from such cases as saving the mayor's ass <laughs> on some occasion. I've also set you up with a buddy of mine that one time. Of course, Mr. Bear. I know who you are. Are you looking to speak with the mayor, Mr. Bear? Because I'm afraid he's not in at the moment. Shit. Can I take a message? No. I have to talk to the mayor personally. It's important. When will the mayor be back? The mayor should be in first thing in the morning, Mr. God Bear. damn it. Okay, never mind. Thanks anyway, doll. Damn it! How was the date with, your, with my friend, anyway? He's not in, and we don't have time to sit around and wait till he sobers up. We'll have to find another way. Hey, what if we made the clearance ourselves? That's falsifying government papers, doll. I like it. There should be some stationery around here. Give me a minute. Have a drink while you wait. A drink of what? Make-believe water? Never mind. Here it is. Uh-huh. Yeah, that, that's words, all right. There. Now we just need something to use as a stamp. And we need to falsify the signature. You're an artist of sorts. You can do this, right? Not really. I could probably make a stamp out of something, but I can't falsify the signature. I know, too. I'll get those two goons yeah. to do it. 
The mug shots? You think they'll help you? Don't worry. My right knuckle can be very persuasive. Yeah. All right, so we got to go to those two. This is this is getting exciting. I could have killed Millie. Poor Millie. We'll have to kill Millie on, an, on another playthrough or something. I guess there's branching things you could do? I don't know. That's pretty neat, though. I could have killed the shit out of Millie. Study. Oh, now I can get the hook or the key. I, I have the hook to get the key. What does the key do? Allow us to get out of the room quicker? I'll take this key with me, just in case. It's always good to have keys around. This is key. Office desk. Wait. This says office desk, but there's no like... So, if I hopefully not in the middle of... Wait, how do I use the office desk key? What with it? Whatever. Get in there. Mugshot Brothers, help me. I need your help. I need you to falsify this clearance for me. Any leads on the missing kid yet? Let's classify. You too remembered something. Nothing useful, probably. I faintly remember my old man. He was sitting on a bar stool, just drinking away. And after a while, the waiters would just chuck him out the back into a dumpster. <laughs> wow. Um, are you willing to... I need your help, low lives. I've got this fake clearance to enter the city, and I need you to falsify the mayor's signature. And what makes you think we're the right guys for this? Do we look like counterfeiters to you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this. <laughs> but again, what's in it for us? Uh... Can't you just do it out of common courtesy? You sure use a lot of fancy words there, Snoop. <laughs> would you do it for Amber? I would do it for Miss. But something tells me you're just dropping names to get us to agree. She's with me, and she needs your help. Oh, yeah? She sure lost a lot of weight, or you finally lost your mind, because I can't see you. She's in the other room. She couldn't squeeze through. I'll cut you a deal, Snoop. You bring me proof that little Miss is with you, and I'll falsify this report card of yours. You mean the clearance? What? Yeah, the clearance. I'll be back. <laughs> sure thing, Arnold. Um, how do I prove? How do prove? You got it? No, they don't have anything to write with. You have your pencils with you? Here you go, but be sure to get them back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Is that necessary? I mean, I like it, but was it totally necessary? Here, will these will these work? There. Does this qualify as proof to you? Now, show some integrity for once in your life and do this thing. Whoa, there! Are these the creator's tools? Where did a snoop like you get these? I made them myself. It's amazing what you can do with some trees, a wood saw. <laughs> Seems like a good trade for you. You were a terrible PI. Better change careers while you're still somewhat sober. I love it. gave them to me, obviously. They have her initials and everything. All right there, Snoop. Don't get all riled up. Show me that land deal you want falsified. <laughs> what? Yeah, sure, the clearance. <laughs> I love this stupid rabbit. I love this. There. Now, if you don't mind, me and John John have some business to attend to. So how about you hit the old dusty trail? All right, bye. I love this one. Not you. Actually, I still love you, but I like him more because he's cooler looking. There, all sorted out. You didn't hurt them, did you? I sure did. Lowlifes like that only understand one kind you of language. Lion oh, no, cunt. Ted. I love Why are you, you. Always so mean to them. What? No, it's expected with those two. Never mind that now. I got it. Let's mean. head back to that cop boyfriend of yours. Ooh, cute, <sighs> cute doggo. Doggo will watch door. Doggo will protect. Doggo is good. Doggo is great. Uh, attic. Do we just go up or do I have to use the thing again? Okay, we 
bitch go up. <laughs> I was like, please don't make me use the thing again. Um, anything in here? It's locked. Oh, desk. Ah, uh, desk key. Desk key. Hey, the key fits. Let's see what we have in here. Ink. I'll take the ink with me. If we wake up in 1789 tomorrow, I'll be all set. I also saw this candle. Can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Grab the bucket. I'll take it with me, just in case. Maybe I'll need to read in the dark at some point or something. Bucket? It acts as the last line of defense between the housemates and the harsh environment outside. I, um, oh, oh, I, I understand. Um. Are you even... I don't think so. Do what with there. What? Now I got a stamp. All I need now is some ink. Oh, messy. Hopefully, I won't get it all over my pockets. Boop. All done. Wow, forging documents is a lot of work. Yay! Give him, give him this guy. <laughs> Legit clearance. I love it. Here you go, Mike. Signed by Jim, uh, Mayor Mills himself. Yes, here it is, and it's, like, totally real and not at all fake. Well, everything seems to check out. Wait a minute. And enjoy the scenery, Miss Amber, Mr. Ted. It's a beautiful view of the city from here. Have a nice night. You too, Brian. Good night, Byron. Good night, Byron. Oh, shit. All right, I guess we're going back there. Oh, Ready, it's Ted? the city. Give me a minute. I thought I left that place for good, you know. What about you? You haven't been there in some time, doll. Yeah, I think so. Besides, we have a case to solve. You're right. Let's go. Let's go. <gasps> lone Wolf? Why'd I get Lone Wolf? Excelsior! Wait, episode... Oh, I did it! I beat it already! It kind of feels like going home. God damn it. It really does. <laughs> Ted, I never asked you. What happened to your Of course life? he had a partner. He grew up. Is that your brother? Oh, your brother's not missing! And he's his former partner! Oh! Oh! It's, it is over. Oh, shit! When's episode two coming out? I need more of this. It's so cute. <laughs> I need more of this. Demir the D. Duravik. Uh, Miles Rand, I love you. You people are great. This is amazingly cute. It's a little short, but it's episode thing, and it wasn't very expensive. I can... I can get behind this. That nail thing was a little silly, though. That nail thing was a little point-click adventure game silly. But, but, that's been, bear with me. Let's meet again in the next video, whatever it happens to be.